to Victor and Libby and Maya. What happens when Hollywood's brightest stars face unimaginable personal tragedy? I can't believe he's really gone. Behind the glitz and glam, these actors have lost their closest friends and their stories will I'm leave done. you heartbroken. It was July 6, 2019, when Dove Cameron's world came crashing down. Her closest friend and fellow Disney star, Cameron Boyce, passed away at just 20 years old. Cameron and Dove had formed a deep bond while filming Disney's Descendants, and their friendship extended far beyond the screen. Dove described Cameron as her brother, a person who truly understood her in ways few others could. The news of his sudden death from complications related to epilepsy was a devastating shock. Dove struggled to find words for her grief, posting a heartfelt tribute on social media, where she revealed that Cameron had always been her biggest supporter, someone who encouraged her to be her most authentic self. In his memory, Dove turned her pain into action, using her platform to raise awareness about epilepsy, hoping that sharing Cameron's story could save others. Though he was gone, Cameron's spirit lived on through Dove's tireless advocacy and the love they shared. Anybody. Um, and he's such a dreamy soul. Vin Diesel's loss was different, but equally as painful. Paul Walker wasn't just his co-star in the Fast and Furious franchise, he was family. The two shared an on-screen chemistry that translated seamlessly into their real lives, with Vin often referring to Paul as his brother from another mother. Their bond was unmistakable, and they spent more time together offset than on, sharing memories with their families, attending charity events, and bonding over their love for cars. But on November 30th, 2013, Vin's life changed forever. Paul died in a tragic car accident at the age of 40, sending shockwaves through Hollywood and beyond. Car accident over the weekend. Investigators working right now to determine the cause of the wreck. For Vin, it was more than just losing a co-star. It was losing someone who had become a part of his heart. At every film premiere and public event, Vin carried Paul's memory with him. He even named his daughter after Paul and took on the role of godfather to Paul's daughter, Meadow Walker. Each new Fast and Furious film since has been a tribute to the legacy Paul left behind, reminding the world that, for Vin, family is everything. Killian Murphy's loss came in a much quieter but no less painful way. While filming Peaky Blinders, Killian had formed a close bond with Helen McCrory, who played his character's formidable aunt, Polly. Their chemistry on screen mirrored their off screen friendship. Helen was not just a co star, but a mentor and guide for Killian, someone he deeply respected. She was known for her remarkable ability to light up any room she walked into, her warmth and wit unmatched in the industry. When Helen passed away in April 2021 after a private battle with cancer, it hit Killian hard. He spoke in interviews about how Helen had become his closest colleague and losing her was like losing a family member. The absence of Helen on set was palpable and Killian continued filming Peaky Blinders in her honor, carrying the weight of her memory with him. Every scene he filmed after her death served as a quiet tribute to her unparalleled talent and their shared journey in creating one of TV's most iconic characters. Billie Eilish's loss was one shrouded in complexity. Her connection to X, though not publicly documented to the extent of some other friendships, was deep and impactful. X, a controversial figure in the music industry, had made a mark on Billy's life. Despite his troubled past, they bonded over their shared experiences as young stars navigating the challenges of fame. In June 2018, he was shot and killed at the age of 20. Billy was just 16 years old at the time, but the news hit her hard. In interviews, she spoke of the influence he had on her music and how his sudden death left her feeling lost. Billy continues to listen to his music and reflect on their friendship, often expressing how his passing made her reconsider the fragility of life, fame, and everything she had once taken for granted. It's, it's really weird to talk about because I don't think he was human, to be honest. And I, he didn't think he was human. I remember him telling me once, he was just like, no, I'm not human. You're not human. We're both aliens. But perhaps one of the most well-known and heartbreaking stories of loss in Hollywood is that of Keanu Reeves and River Phoenix. They met while filming My Own Private Idaho, and their bond was immediate. Both were rising stars, known for their raw talent and kind spirits, and their friendship became one of the most meaningful relationships in Keanu's life. River Phoenix wasn't just any actor. 
He was a symbol of everything that could be beautiful in Hollywood. Pure talent, generosity, and a unique ability to connect with others. But behind the fame, River struggled with substance abuse. On the night of October 31st, 1993, River tragically died of a drug overdose outside the Viper Room, a club co-owned by Johnny Depp. He was only 23 years old. Keanu was shattered. In the years that followed, he rarely spoke about River's death, but those close to him knew the pain ran deep. Keanu's quiet, reflective nature became even more pronounced, and his personal loss became a defining feature of his life. His fans often note the emotional depth he brings to roles like Neo in The Matrix and John Wick, and many believe that the sorrow he's carried since losing River has influenced his performances in profound ways. River's death was just the first in a series of personal tragedies for Keanu, but it was perhaps the most formative. Keanu's ability to continue thriving in Hollywood, despite his heartbreak, has earned him admiration from fans all over the world. To this day, River Phoenix remains a part of Keanu's soul, and their friendship, though tragically cut short, left an indelible mark on the man Keanu is today.